What is going on guys, Fabrizio Van Marciano here from vanmarciano.co. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I've created any new content for my channel and that is because I've been pretty busy working over on my membership platform at vanmarciano.pro where I focus most of my time now creating uh, premium WordPress tutorials and uh, focusing on building my Bricks Builder and Oxygen Builder courses with the design modules. And I'm also working on some new and exciting courses for the future, including a breakdance course. So yeah, a lot of my time is taken uh, working on that platform, but I'm also working on a few client website design projects. I'm traveling as well, and I'm working on my music business. It is the summer, so I have to kind of balance my time with uh, all of my online businesses. But anyway, hopefully I'll find some time to create some new content for my channel. I know I've been kind of neglecting this for a while now, but okay. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my Bricks Builder and WordPress website design blueprint. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of a website that's uh, hosted on my local computer and uh, show you all of the tech stack, the plugins that I have installed, the settings that I have for WordPress and all the rest of it, and uh, hopefully inspire you to create your own blueprint when working with Bricks Builder, because it's gonna save you an enormous amount of time by not having to keep installing plugins and adding your license keys and configuring settings and all the rest of it, you can just dive straight into a project and get started. Anyway, let's dive straight onto the screen and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, I wanna share with you my go-to Bricks Builder and WordPress website blueprint. So if you're frequently building WordPress websites with bricks, it makes sense to have uh, some kind of blueprint. Now for some time I've been requested to share my web design blueprints. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to go right ahead and give you a tour of my WordPress website stack when it comes to creating websites with bricks. I am working on a similar video for Oxygen Builder and I will link to it in the topic notes for this video. All right, so first of all, here we are. I'm inside the admin area for my Blueprint to Bricks Builder website. And if I just very quickly slide my screen here. So I'm hosting my website locally using the local app. Now, usually I will have my blueprints listed here, but uh, most of the time what I tend to do is whether I'm using Bricks or Oxygen or uh, Breakdance, I tend to duplicate a project here. I can just come up here to these three little dots and uh, where is it now? So here we go, clone site. I can just go ahead and clone the site uh, as long as I have all of the basic elements plugins, themes, and uh, various other settings added to that site. So let me just go back to my Blueprint Bricks Builder website here and go through, first of all, let's navigate over to the plugins and install plugins. I'm gonna show you very quickly what I have installed here. So this is a general setup. I have the Cookie Yes plugin, G Translate, Independent Analytics, uh, Rank Math SEO, and WB Codebox 2. So those are the main plugins. Now I tend to have a few more than this if I need them. The ones that are missing here are WP Grid Builder and also Pinet Forms, depending on uh, the conversion needs of the site. Now that is a premium plugin, of course, but uh, since Bricks Builder has its own native form element, I tend to use that most of the time. For selling online, now I've designed and deployed countless online selling websites. Uh, for these, I will usually add the following plugins. So WooCommerce, which is free, Shortcut and Shore Members and also LearnDash if I want to add an online course to the website. As some of you may know, as a freelancer, I specialize in designing and building holiday property, booking websites, brochure websites. So in those cases, I will use the following plugins, which include Jet Engine, which is a premium plugin, Jet Booking, and Pionet Forms. All right, so let's just navigate back to Bricks just a second, and then let me go to Settings. I should have just gone to Settings from the drop down up here, but it doesn't matter. So with my Blueprint to Bricks Builder website, what I tend to do is make sure that I have all of the desired settings in place here. So I'll just go through all of these tabs and make some uh, subtle changes, not a great deal. And then I'll just save everything so that I don't have to keep coming back to this and uh, making those changes each time I start a new website project. In any case, each project is gonna be different anyway, so I'll always come back here and make any changes if I need to. So I wanna talk a little bit about uh, class presets and variables. So if I head over to my pages here, all pages, and I have a simple page here for the front page. Now, usually if I'm doing a one page website, that is all I will need to have. So if I just click on edit with bricks here very quickly, and then I'm gonna quickly navigate over to settings and go to theme styles. And so I will create a main theme styles. And of course the condition is gonna be set to apply to the entire website. 
but for things like the element section, I tend to have uh, the padding added to this for all of my sections. And then for the container element, I tend to set the width here, 1440 pixels. And I think that's pretty much it. I tend to use 1440 pixels for the width, but sometimes again, this can vary depending on the type of website, depending on the client preferences. I'll always come back here and change this if I need to. So I think that is everything else. I really, I don't really change much in here, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly navigate back to the uh, WordPress area and show you something else here that I have. So if I navigate down to WP Code Box and click on this, now I use WP Code Box because I can store a lot of code snippets in the cloud and then I can just download them into a website if I need them. So as you can see here, I have two files, my fluid typography, which is some custom CSS, and uh, then I have my utility classes here, which isn't a great deal because I tend to use uh, custom classes and variables inside of Bricks. I manage all of those inside of Bricks. So the other thing that I would do is also create an additional style sheet for all of my main CSS, uh, if I'm gonna use any CSS in a project. So let me just jump back into pages or pages. I wanna jump back into Bricks here very quickly, edit with Bricks. So I'm just gonna navigate very quickly over to, where are we? Here we go, classes and variables. So I don't have any custom classes added yet, but I do have my variables added here for every single project that I start. I have some variables for spacing, colors, and shades. So I can just come back in here. For example, I can come back into colors here and change uh, my primary, secondary, background colors, uh, neutrals, rating, text colors, heading colors, etc. And for the shades here, I have primary, secondary, and neutral colors, sorry, yeah, neutral variables for various shades here. And again, for spacing, I have everything from extra, extra small, all the way to extra, extra large. And so yeah, I can change the values in here if I need to. But for the most part, for most projects, I don't tend to change the values in here unless I really need to, but I do uh, make changes to the colors and shades for sure. All right, so that is basically all of that in a nutshell. Now you might be wondering about responsive grid layouts. I usually create the page layouts as I go along uh, with the rule of creating the layouts first before styling any of the elements. Uh, but again, this depends on the project's scope. If it's a one page project, the process will be fairly simple. Multiple page projects require a little bit more planning uh, ahead and so, yeah, and as I said, I heavily rely on the use of CSS variables to manage colors and add consistent spacing between all of my elements, containers. I use variables as well there. So there you go. Now I will have a bunch of links to various uh, content on Van Marciano Pro where you can find code snippets, pre-styled classes that you can add into your Blueprint website if you're thinking about setting one up. And once again, I'm using the uh, local app here. As you can see, we can just create a local uh, WordPress install, add all of the plugins that you need and uh, make all of the settings, add all of the license keys that you need if you're using premium plugins and uh, you can go right ahead and get everything set up. And then of course, what you can do then, you can come up here to these three little dots and you can come down here to save your installation as a blueprint so that you can use again. And how you do this then, when you start a new project, you can come down here, as you know, click on new project and you can uh, create from a blueprint, click on this, continue, and then you can select the blueprint that you have available. Okay, so let me just come back out of this very quickly. Let's go back to edit in WordPress. So yeah, I tend to add all the pages that I need, usually just one page if it's gonna be a one page website. But uh, so I have all of the plugins installed, all of the settings set up. I also go through some of the settings in WordPress here. For example, if I go to reading here, just make sure that I have the front page set to a static page. And I also turn off or disable search engine visibility. This is a live project and I don't want people to access the site. But in Bricks, we can also, if I go back to settings here, so we can go to maintenance mode and also enable this. So we can set this to coming soon as well. Save changes. And so there you have it. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Do check out the topic notes for a list of all of the resources, plugins, and code snippets and links that I have available if you're interested in setting up a Bricks Builder blueprint website like this. So yeah, okay, that is it. I'll see you in the next one. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, don't forget to check out my website over at vanmarciano.pro and check out all of the free content and tutorials we have there. Although most of them are premium tutorials, including my online courses with Bricks Builder and Oxygen Builder, 
and I'm also working on some future courses as well. So yeah, lots of good things to come. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until the next video, take it easy and peace. Cheers.